You know, on my channel, we embrace masculinity and we give men's issues the attention that it deserves. But there are just some men out there who are an absolute disgrace to our gender. And I'm gonna talk about them in this video. Stick around. First up, we have the male feminist. There are some men out there who buy into the feminist ideology. They believe that their own gender is the privileged class and the group of oppressors and that only women are oppressed. They're the type of men who apologize just for being men. On behalf of my gender, I apologize to you. Next up, we have the White Knights. These are the type of men who believe that their main purpose in life is to protect women. White Knights have no shame in fighting other men over a woman to protect her honor. The biggest problem that White Knights create is that they perpetuate the belief that women are automatically innocent and that men are inherently guilty. If there's a confrontation between a man and a woman and the fight starts to get physical, the white knight will step in and confront the man himself. Yes, he will get between this couple that he doesn't even know and he has no idea what the fight is about, but that doesn't stop him from picking a side. What could they have been fighting about? Perhaps the woman started the fight and he was defending himself, could that be possible? These questions never cross the mind of a white knight. In his mind, the woman can do no wrong while there is never an excuse for a man to stand up for himself. And if the man says, back off, this is none of your business, the white knight will go on to say, I'm making it my business. That's one of their most commonly used phrases. It's really annoying when they say that because you can't just make this your business. It's still none of your business no matter what you say or how tough you think you are. I'm gonna show you a clip of some white knights in action, but I warn you, it may be difficult to stomach. Now, why are you hitting me, lady? No, you're touching me. Why are you hitting me, lady? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. What the fuck you doing? You want to rape me? You want to rape me? Stop hitting me, lady. Stop hitting me, lady. Help me. 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 Oh my god. Lady, you're scaring me. I know, you're scaring me. You're scaring me too, sir. Get away from me. Get away from me, you're scaring me. I'm so sick. Why did you come into my room like this? Kiss out the window. Why did you come into my room and the three of you threaten me like this? Why did you come in here and threaten me like this? Please get out of my room. Please get out of my room. God help me, he wants to rape me. I promise I won't squeal on you anymore. I'll do anything you want. Please call the cops and get out of my room. Please call the cops and get out of my room. I was trying to get out of your room. You won't let me. Yeah, that's why you were you grabbing won't let for me the get can. Out of your room. Call the cops then. You won't let call the cops then. Uh, get the cops I here. I don't have a phone. You call. You have you, a phone right in your you hand. Call. Your boyfriend has a phone. Your boyfriend has a phone right there. Call the cops. Are you all right? Please call the cops. Are you all right? Yeah. Crocodile I, tears. I hate you for doing yeah. that to me. Keep it up. Animal. Call the police. Animal. Call the police and get out. Put your hands on I never Did touched her. I never touched her. I never touched her. I never touched her. I never touched her. I opened up my door for you, and the three of you come storming in on me. Me like this, you have no right to be storming in on me like this. You have no right to be storming in on me like this. You know what? Count on, count on the cops coming. Count on it right now. And here's an example of a group of white knights. They travel in packs sometimes. Apparently, this man and woman have a fight, and here come the white knights flooding in to beat this guy up. They live by the phrase "attack first, ask questions never." The logic of a white knight is that a man hitting a woman is not fair, but 20 guys against one is perfectly fine. What would happen if the sexes were switched? Would anybody step in if it was a woman beating up on a guy? Well the TV show What Would You Do did a little social experiment about that very thing. I made a video about it if you want to check that out. If you're a guy who's fighting with another guy over a girl, 
then you really need to sort out your priorities. It's bros before 304s, not the other way around. Now that's bad enough, but some guys take it so far as to fight over a girl who cheated on one of them. There are plenty of guys out there who if they were to find their partner cheating on them, they would get mad at the other guy and start getting violent with him. Even if the other guy had no idea that she was in a relationship. If that's the case, then he did nothing wrong. It's only your cheating partner you should be getting mad at. One minute he's getting some action, next thing he knows, some guy barges in and starts wringing his neck. Now, obviously, if the other guy did know that she was in a relationship, then that would be a different story. Both people would be in the wrong in that case. But if he didn't know, then lay off him. There are two types of simps. The first type are those desperate men who want to be with the woman so bad and they think that constantly being persistent and constantly simping will do any good. You know the type of man who is interested in a certain woman, but she doesn't have any interest in him. So what does he do? He's persistent. He tries to impress her even more. He never gives up. He keeps coming back and trying to get her and hoping that maybe she'll go out with him because she either had enough or feels sorry for him. It's pathetic. I can't stand seeing men like this with no sense of pride or dignity. If this woman expressed no interest in you, then end it. Why waste your time on someone who has no interest in you? You see these kinds of men in TV shows and movies as well. The type who say, hey, if I make this basket or if I can shoot this goal, then you have to let me buy you dinner. If I dunk this ball in Mad Hoop, then you have dinner with me at my house. Deal. No, no, that's cheating. <laughs> yeah, because if she's going to have a free meal with you, you have to truly earn it first. Dreams are about to come true. In other words, he has to do something impressive just for the chance to treat her to dinner, and he is considered the lucky one? You know, if she really wanted to go out with you, you wouldn't have to do any of this. She's already getting a free meal out of the deal. You shouldn't have to make baskets or do any of this other crap to get her to spend time with you, as if she's only having dinner with you because she lost some sort of bet and is fulfilling her obligation of eating a free meal with you. The other type of simp is the guy who actually did land a relationship with the woman but he figures he needs to be a simp to keep the relationship going. The simp's lack of self-worth has him believe that she's too good for him, and thus, he doesn't want to ruin a good thing. The simp is at her every beck and call, always making sure not to upset her in the slightest, to always be in agreement with her. These are the types of guys who will learn the hard way that this is a recipe for disrespect. Because if you can't respect yourself, how can you really expect anybody else to? These are the types of guys who would jump at the chance of being a beta need after the woman has had her alpha seats. You know the type of girl who spends her 20s riding the cock carousel, gets knocked up, and the real father doesn't want anything to do with that, so when she becomes a single mom, she needs to find someone more stable who will provide for her. And since she has a kid and is starting to get a little older, now she decides to look for a more stable kind of guy. Tinder in particular has no shortages of single moms. Cucks can have a field day on that app. Just get a load of this story. I'll leave a link in the description to a New York Post article about a guy who hit it off with a Tinder girl who was already pregnant with another guy's baby. So basically, that other dude got to hit it and quit it, and this guy comes along to take care of the results of her poor life decisions. Then we have this story about a dying wife. This is an interesting story. Let me know what you guys would do if you were in this situation. My wife has a terminal disease. She is projected to live at most 9 months. I am of course destroyed. We've been together for a decade. I don't remember life without her and I don't know what I'm going to do when she's gone. I've been doing my best to make the last days of her life good and grant whatever wish I can. The doctor said that she was likely to need a wheelchair in 4 or 5 months. Then by month 8, she'll be bedridden for the last few weeks. That's if she doesn't decline faster. Recently she sat me down and told me that one of the last things she wanted to do was have sex with a previous partner of hers. I of course was shocked and when I asked why the... She wants that. So basically, she thinks that her most physically compatible, satisfying lover was him. She gave a whole monologue about how sex sometimes is just physical and how emotionally fulfilling sex is with me, but it was bull to get to the point. So now I'm left with this. Deny my dying wife a wish for my own ego? Or let her go another man who she feels was better? Honestly, I'm so pissed off and betrayed that she asked this of me. I feel like I'm put in a position where I have to say yes because she's dying. I know what I want to say, but I don't know if that's right. I'm so hurt that sex with an ex was apparently so good that she needs to do it one more time before she dies. I just hate everything about this. Now here's what I think. If he simply just says yes, that would be a cuck move. I think the best response would be, hey, if that other dude wants to, then go for it. But as far as you and me are concerned, 
we're done. But what would you do? What would you say if you were in this situation? There are also the types of men who accept the subservient roles that are placed upon them. Subservient roles such as marriage proposals. I find it so pathetic that a man gets down on one knee and begs the woman to marry him, that I don't even feel sorry for him if the woman rejects his proposal. I just see it as a lesson that he learned the hard way. Never propose marriage, especially in public. Why do these guys feel the need to propose marriage in public? Here are two people that I don't know, never knew, and couldn't care less about, and I'm supposed to be awestruck by this? If you ask me, marriage proposals should be like going to the bathroom, done behind closed doors and in the privacy of your own home. Men who come off as being desperate and needy like this are a disgrace. Stereotypes are made for a reason and unfortunately there will always be those people out there that perpetuate them. For example, there's the stereotype that all men care about is sex and they care more about how a girl looks and less about what she has to say. Now I watch quite a few videos on this site. I watch videos about things I'm interested in. How the uploader of the video looks doesn't matter to me. Now, if a girl made a video about something and I had something to say, I would make a comment related to what she said in the video. Makes sense, right? But when I read other people's comments, I notice a lot of guys commenting on how they'd like to be her boyfriend or how cute she is, or just comments on how she looks and not on what she said. She was making a video about a certain topic, not asking everybody's opinion on how she looks. Those comments are not only annoying because they have nothing to do with the video, but these types of comments also perpetuate the male stereotype that men only care about looks and not what the girl has to say. And if that wasn't enough, getting comments like that all the time will only feed her ego and all of that will go to her head. Yes indeed, you can call these types of guys simps. I know I already talked about them, but you know what? They are really that bad that they get two sections in this video. And that's my list so far. It's certainly not an exhaustive one. If there are any that you would add to this list, leave them down below in the comments. And until next time, I'm out.